I broke into Hype's warehouse and stole their new case. It's not even out yet. And it's got a screen on it. Let's unbox it. All right, guys, let's get right into it. We're gonna check out the Y70, but first I just wanted to bring in a Y60 that we built for a customer just to give you a size comparison so you can kind of see the difference as we go through the different features and what makes the Y70 so different from the Y60. A couple things that I wanna really highlight on this case before we take it out of the box, the text on the box itself. Now, I just wanna take a second to give a big props to whoever works at Height that is in charge of writing the product text. Check this out. Why we made this, okay, we're good so far. A new build should feel new. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I agree. The computer aesthetic, so future. Nice, yes. Very future, much nice. Three's a crowd, four slots a party. Very good, we'll talk about what that means in just a second here. Tactile blue switch returns the favor when you turn it on. I've always wanted a computer that could, you know, reciprocate. Right, Trog? Yeah. He's nodding, he says yes. Waifu, waifu? is it waifu? Anime guy. Waifu? Waifu. Waifu ready with 10 finger multi-touch support. And now it gets slightly weird. Touch, sweet touch. You've almost convinced me I'm real. Is someone, is someone in? Do you need help getting out? Hello? Oh God, he died in the case box. Let's take a look at this case today. The Y70, baby. Let's unbox it. Let's get it out of this cardboard prison. Now this is the first time that we are seeing this case. It has been hyped up to us. It has been heighted, hyped, hyped, height. I'll figure it out later. They told us all about this case. We saw a slideshow and we're like, wow, this looks really cool. So this will be our first time officially taking a look at it. All right, this is the moment of truth. Packaged just with great precision. There it is. The case comes in four different color options. White on white, white on black, red on black, and black on black. How'd I do? I did great. Hey, got it, nailed it. Okay, so a bunch of different color options for this case. The black on black is what we went with because I mean, it's clean. The thing that people see first, so what's this? You got a piece of cardboard? What happened to the glass? What's going on here? My friends, this is a screen behind this cardboard. I'll show you what it looks like, how it operates a little bit later in the video. There are some really cool things. This is not just a screen. I promise it's worth it when we go into the full details of this. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. But first I wanna cover some of the basics on this case, some improvements that they've made, some differences between the Y60. So let's jump into that first. Something that you'll notice right off the bat with the Y70 versus the Y60 is height has added an extra GPU slot here. So you, there's four slots as opposed to the three on the Y60 and Y40. People looking for higher end 40 series cards like a 4080, 4090, we're having a hard time getting them to fit in the Y60 because the amount of room that the cards take up. Pushing super close to the glass, so you're gonna run into potentially some airflow issues there. Not with the Y70, this is perfect for those bigger card builds underneath the GPU. We've got two fans here that are kind of helping to move air through the graphics card as well. So that's gonna help you from an airflow side of things. For those fans that run underneath the graphics card, this particular case that we were sent did not include them. I don't know if they'll be included in production or not, but just something to be aware of. There is space for those extra fans underneath the GPU. Whenever we get the chance to check out a new case, it's always fun to look at the little details that people either think about putting on a case or not in this case <laughs> get it? height i mean the power button is running using a blue switch a little clicky power button feels nice it's tactile it's those little details that end up making a case badass man all right let's talk about fans in this case 120 or 140 millimeter fans all around also something really cool that i wanted to shout out they have made it so dang easy to install the radiator fans. This is removable on the top and the bottom of the case. So it's a lot, lot easier than some cases getting into them and installing fans. So they did a really good job on this. If you're looking for a case that is easy to build in when it comes to fans and installation, this is definitely right there up at the top of the list. How about a size comparison? Let's check out the size difference between the Y60, Y70, and a good illustration of the size difference may actually be uh, these top panels here. Uh, that go on top of these cases. I'm gonna overlay the Y60 top panel over the Y70 just to give you an idea of the size difference of these two cases. It's not like, it's not a massive 
massive difference, really. There are a lot of cases that have built-in screens, like we recently took a look at the Johnsbo D41, but I like the way the height approached this. It's very clean in terms of the implementation of running the cables for the power and the display as well on the Y70, they nailed it. Okay, I know you really wanna see how the screen on this badass case works, but first we need to talk about something that is just as important as the screen itself, the connectivity for the screen. Screens on cases are using HDMI or DisplayPort. We're using DisplayPort on this Height Y70. Where does the cable go? They've made it really easy by putting the display port right here for the screen and the cable for it. When you first unbox this beautiful case, they're hiding some accessories here in one of the drive bay sleds. A perfectly sized display port cable. Oh, whoop, doing the old USB trick, flip it around a million times. It was right here. Connects right to the graphics card. You don't have like a big wad of extra cables and stuff. It's perfectly sized to fit. Helps me out a lot. I don't like a big old rat's nest of cables and height knew that. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy Connor building in one of the very first Height Y70 touch cases on the market. And when we come back, we're gonna talk more about the screen and the other amazing features of this case. Complete. This is one of the very first height Y70 builds and it's done. I wanna walk you through a couple things that I found really interesting about this build after we had the chance to work in it a little bit. I'm sure you've seen some of the highlights of the build, but I wanna talk about a couple things. I wanna talk about software for this screen. I also wanna talk about something uh, that we discovered going on up top here with the old radiator. We're gonna get to that. Earlier in the video, I had showed you this fan assembly that it's, it's removable. Um, so you can easily install fans, radiators up top. What I didn't notice is this is actually adjustable as well. There's two different height settings on this fan assembly. So if you have a thicker radiator, you can mount it further up top. I don't know if you can grab this uh, shot. You can, you can mount this assembly higher or lower depending on the thickness of your radiator or Another very interesting uh, use case for this is what you see right here, where we've actually lowered it. We've, we've got this on the lowest setting so that you have more visibility on some of your RGB fans. These Lee and Lee fans really get to shine because of that. So I thought that was kind of a, a nice feature that Height had put in this case so that you can accommodate different size radiators and also the aesthetics of how your fans show up top. Very smart, love it. All right, let's talk about what everyone wants to talk about, the screen on this case. We had a chance to play with it, this thing, is fantastic, love the execution. I wanna walk you through a couple things that are important about this screen. Number one, oh my gosh, it's a touch screen, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that is beautiful. And it's running as a totally separate app as well. Uh, it's running using the Nexus app. Nexus Touch is what's controlling the screen. If you get other Hype products like their mouse pad, I'm guessing they'll eventually make RGB fans. I can't imagine that they won't. The app would obviously control those other Hype products in addition to your screen. So something to be aware of there, it's running as a totally separate app. There are some great pros to that. One being that if you're playing a game on full screen on your main display and you wanna control things and change things like volume on mixers and stuff like that, which I'm gonna show you right now, 
it doesn't interrupt your gameplay. So check this out. Uh, swipe gestures, swipe down from the top. It's very similar to like your iPhone, Android interface where you can have these individual sliders that control things like brightness, volume level, the microphone, things like that, which is very, very cool. In addition to that, if you long press on certain things on this screen, you can actually dive into things like device control, volume output levels. There's a mixer here as well where you can control the volume for different apps and things like that. So pretty robust in terms of the options available within the control center. In addition, they have these widgets that you can put on the screen. So anytime you long press most of these widgets, you can dive into further details. So things like um, showing your temperatures, CPU load, all of these are available as a widget and you can change the way that they're displayed on the screen through the settings and configuration within the app. So that's very, very cool. In addition to that, I know that Height has also added uh, a nice game for everyone to play. You may recognize it. It's called Block Game, but I think it kind of reminds me of, do I say it? Are we in trademark? It's Tetris. They put Tetris on the screen, which is kind of cool. But another cool thing about this they showed me earlier is I guess this game is networked together with every height screen or height user. So there's a leaderboard that's global, is my understanding at least. And I'm thinking tonight I bring this home and try to get on the leaderboard <laughs> for the height uh, Tetris game before this case comes out. That's my goal for tonight. Anyway, they've got some games built in. That's kind of dope. The swipe gestures, it just feels good. It's very responsive. Like, I mean, look at this. It's super responsive. So if you're looking for things like looking to get a new case, you're a streamer, and you want something that, uh, that has a bunch of different options in terms of volume mixer, controlling apps, how they function, and you're considering buying these external devices like mixers, maybe this is a good solution to where you don't need to spend a bunch of money on all this extra hardware taking up desk space. If you're really just controlling a few different things like your mic level, volume level of chat or discord, this could be a great option for you. It's like two birds, one stone, and it saves you desk space. I mean, it's a 10 point touch screen, 4K, Great quality, that's something that absolutely most users that want a screen in their system could benefit from. Also, you can add these little shortcuts here. And of course, I had to add the best shortcut of all, uh, metapcs.com, where you can buy a fully built system in this case. Little plug there, was that, was that organic enough? Too salesy, no? Are you guys gonna do it? I hope so. Love it, there, are a, there is one thing that I do wanna talk about real quick. This was some feedback, something that I noticed. Asked Height about these two fans. So they include two fans here that help cool the GPU. They're at the bottom of the case. And I noticed that the case itself didn't come with these fans, which I thought was kind of interesting. It's such a good feature. Why would you not include fans? So we called Height. We said, are you planning on including fans in the production model or what's going on? And their response was actually very thoughtful, made a lot of sense. Most people, when they're buying a case, have their own fans or they're buying fans to go in it. They're very specific, like they want these Lee and Lee fans or whatever the case may be. So Height took the approach, which I think is very smart and said, we want to offer this case and have it be as affordable as possible considering you're including a 4K screen in it. So affordability is a word to use loosely here, but their thought was anything we can use to kind of save a little bit of money so it make it more affordable for people is the route that they went there, which I actually respect. So if you are getting this case and you're gonna build in this case, I would make sure to be aware of the placement of these two fans, fill them up down there, make sure you, you tackle your airflow, plan that out in your build when you're buying fans. But um, that was the only real thing that I saw and Height's response really made a lot of sense. So I'm, I'm satisfied. Now we did have one issue that I wanna talk about. We were trying to use the touch display and it was not working. We were selecting things on the screen and we noticed that when we were making selections that the actions were actually occurring on our main monitor. So you know when you select things on your desktop, you drag and select a bunch of icons or whatever, that was happening on our main display while we were moving our fingers on the touch screen. So we called Height, got in touch with someone immediately and they told us how to fix it again Something to keep in mind, the software is in beta, but what I would keep in mind is the team there is super responsive. They're willing to work with issues, give feedback, and really that's one of the most important things, especially with a new product, is a company that's willing to listen to its customers, fix things as we're rolling stuff out, and the team at Height, I know personally, awesome people. So they'll take good care if you have any questions, they're gonna help you out every step of the way. 
And obviously if you buy a fully built system through us using this case, we'll help you directly. So either way, you're gonna get taken care of. Final thoughts on the new Height Y70 Touch. Good case, it is a little expensive, but if you are someone that's looking for a case that has a screen, if you're gonna mod it yourself, you're gonna end up spending probably about the same amount as getting a case like the Y70 Touch, but it's been implemented, it's meant to be there, it comes ready to go, out of the box, you can't ask for much more than that in terms of a screen setup on a case. So love that, love the 10 point touch, love the 4K screen, the software, even in beta version, really slick. I love it, and I've just been playing Tetris nonstop on this thing. Uh, the guys are itching to get this over so they can test some thermals. We'll update you on that in a later video as soon as the guys have done that, and most importantly, as soon as I have beat the top score in Tetris. Block game, excuse me. Copyright issues. $349.99. $359.99. And you can get a system with this case at metapcs.com as well.